Virtual Death, a terrifying VR abduction, survival horror story. In the quiet town of Crestfall, there lived a teenage girl named Zoe. She was a tech-savvy girl with an insatiable appetite for the virtual world. Spending endless hours online, she was known for her addiction to an app called Virtuex, a virtual reality platform that promised thrilling adventures beyond imagination. One fateful evening, as Zoe immersed herself in the depths of the internet, she encountered a mysterious user named Noah. Noah presented himself as a fellow adventure seeker, luring Zoe deeper into the realms of the digital domain. Intrigued by the promise of extraordinary experiences, Zoe willingly followed Noah's virtual breadcrumbs, unaware of the sinister intentions that lay behind his inviting facade. As Zoe's addiction grew, so did Noah's influence over her. Unbeknownst to Zoe, Noah was a master manipulator, meticulously planning his next move. He had developed a twisted obsession with capturing the innocence of young girls, imprisoning them within his macabre virtual world, and ultimately bringing their lives to a brutal end. One fateful night, while Zoe was deeply engrossed in the virtual realm of her 2X, Noah executed his plan. With his malicious intent, he hijacked the app, exploiting its vulnerabilities to gain access to Zoe's personal information. Through the app, Noah tracked her every move, observing her habits, likes, and interests. Under the guise of an exciting new virtual adventure, Noah enticed Zoe to meet him in person, promising her a chance to experience the ultimate virtual reality game he had crafted. Blinded by her fascination and the illusion of safety behind her screen, Zoe agreed to the meeting, unknowingly stepping into a web of shadows spun by Noah. The designated meeting spot was an abandoned warehouse on the outskirts of town, hidden from prying eyes. Zoe arrived, her heart pounding with anticipation. But as soon as she crossed the threshold, the air turned heavy with malevolence. Noah's true intentions revealed themselves as Zoe found herself trapped in a nightmarish reality. To her horror, Zoe discovered she was not alone. Several other girls, lured by Noah's deceitful promises, were also captured and confined within the warehouse. The room echoed with their terrified screams and cries for help, but their pleas fell on deaf ears. Noah reveled in his sadistic power, relishing the control he had over their lives. Noah's sickening plan went beyond physical torment. He forced the captive girls to participate in his grotesque murders, which he meticulously recorded for the depraved voyeurs of the dark web. His twisted creations, filmed in virtual reality, were meant to satisfy the perverse desires of those who sought unimaginable horrors. In this house of nightmares, Zoe and the other girls clung to whatever shreds of hope remained. They sought strength in their unity, determined to outsmart their captor and escape his clutches. Within their confinement, they shared their stories, revealing their own unique strengths and skills. Together, the captive girls devised a daring plan to overthrow Noah's reign of terror. Exploiting their captor's arrogance and underestimation, they launched a counterattack, using their combined wits and resilience to outmaneuver him. In a climactic showdown, the girls unleashed their fury upon Noah, overpowering him with a surge of strength born from desperation. With every ounce of determination they possessed, they broke free from their virtual prison, shattering the illusion that had bound them for so long. As dawn broke and the truth of Noah's horrifying crimes came to light, the town of Crestfall shuddered in collective terror. The virtual world that once seemed so captivating had transformed into a haunting reminder of the darkness that lurked behind screens. Zoe and the other girls emerged from the depths of despair, forever changed by their harrowing experience. Their stories served as a chilling reminder of the dangers that lurked online and the twisted minds that sought to exploit innocent lives. 
And so, the tale of Web of Shadows echoed through time, reminding all who would listen that within the seemingly boundless realm of the internet, evil could take many forms, waiting patiently to ensnare the unwary and unsuspecting.